this is the video review for Transformers Animated Toys R Us exclusive Cybertron Mode Ratchet. I uh, went up to my local Toys R Us like I did. Uh, I was going to get Ratchet and RC, but they had four RCs and four Ratchets two days ago. Yesterday there was there was two Ratchets left. That was it. So, and I and uh, I can understand that some people, you know, like actual TFW board members, got some of these. But I, I just don't understand where all the RCs went, except for maybe a scalper. Because they had four RCs, they're all gone. They had four Mighty Mugs War Machines, and they're all and they were all gone. So that kind of shows that someone was there and bought big quantities of those figures. But um, here you. But Ratchet is pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, you can see it's a Toys R Us only at Toys R Us. Um, Cybertron mode Autobot Ratchet extending shock attack. Autobot come over here. He has that has him actually smiling, and so does the face on the figure. But it's very very. Hard to see it. Uh, Cybertron mode Autobot Ratchet, you know, you got his, the pictures. Cybertronian Ambulance mode is cross cells are Electrostatic Soundwave, Freeway Jazz, and Waspinator, which they had Electrostatic Soundwave and Jazz there yesterday, along with one Cybertron mode Optimus, I believe. Uh, his, his little saying there is, you call that a dent? Get back out there, soldier. Uh, Cybertron mode Autobot Ratchet, old school Autobot Medic, a Galactic Powers and Abilities, uh, injured Autobots often request him as their medic, specializes in modifying armor and weapons to peak conditions. When forced to fight, usually shoots to disable instead of destroy. And his bio says, when back when the war was at its worst, even when Autobots who weren't programmed to fight were called into battle. More than once, Autobot Ratchet was forced onto the, out onto the battlefield, not just as a medic, but as a warrior. They're not memories he likes to recall, but he learned more than one lesson that has saved his life in the years since. So, I'm going to, you know... Go ahead and open this guy back up. Uh, I've already, obviously already opened him because there's no twist ties. But you can open so this guy back up. Now here he is. Uh, animated uh, Autobot Ratchet in his Cybertronian mode in his vehicle or Cybertronian ambulance mode. You can see here his shock pads or paddles or whatever you want to call them uh, store on his back or the back of his vehicle here. He has of course that heartbeat symbol there. Um, kind of empty on the bottom. The first picture we saw of him was like that, and it was a prototype. And everyone thought it was going to be an activator, uh, of like Ironhide or something, but it wasn't. It turned out to be Deluxe Class, uh, Cybertron Mode Ratchet, but they, but they did show some pictures of BotCon last year of a, a repaint with a different head of Ironhide. Uh, Hasbro said they had the choice of giving a new head for a Fugitive Waspinator, or giving the, giving a new head to Ironhide, and the big animated guys decided to go ahead and give it to Ironhide because Fug because Fugitive Wasp had the same head as Bumblebee at one point. So they just said it's it, it's happened before it was before he um, switched heads with Bumblebee. Uh, quite cool vehicle mode. I, it's not the best, but you know it's good for it's pretty good still. Uh, it does roll pretty good. He's got he's got like little wheels here. Pretty good. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad that really the only thing you can see that is noticeable as one of his limbs are his hands. And you can barely see them. They store quite well, too. And you can see his chest with the Autobot symbol there. It's not really need to be in disguise because, you know, of course, this is a Cybertronian mode. So Autobot symbol does not need to be in disguise. Uh, so, mostly white with a little bit of red. With, well, okay, mostly white and red with a little bit of blue. For, like, the visor and stuff. So to transform it, what you want to do, I like to first... Pull out the chest. Shock paddles pop right off. Set those here. Unpeg the feet from their pegs here. Turn them and fold them down. Just, that's what I'm just going to keep them like that for a moment. Then you want to take these. Or actually you want to fold that down. Fold that out first. Then you want to take these and the, there's peg. There's little holes inside the wheel there. Um, and you want to get them in there and fold that down. Um, then fold those. Fold his, what are going to be his hands out. Then fold down the feet.
fold out the hand just like so and there you have transformers animated deluxe class cybertron mode ratchet in his robot mode quite good looking in robot mode really like it um i do not have the emp generator with me right now but he does have a spot for the emp generator so he can in fact hold that as well um you can take the little shock pads here put a piece of it in each hand they do take a little bit of force to get in because you don't want them to be loose. There we go. <clears throat> and then you know he can he can uh, you know shock people if he wanted to. I don't know. Um, he does have like a punch, like a flying gimmick or something. It's a it's like a let's see what the box says. They call it a um, extending shock attack. That's real cool. That could that could have been left out. Um, head, like I said, face is is actually a smile. Uh, legs can go forward and articulation wise, legs can go forward and back. They're on a ball joint, side to side. Rotate at the upper leg. Um, knees can bend forward and back. You can go out to the side like that. Um, head can rotate full 360. Um, he does a blue light piping and this. Uh, it's a little difficult because this must have been like him like uh, like two minutes before. Or, well, actually, they took his e lockdown, took his EMP generator, making that peg there. Yet he still has he he has both of his antenna bits there, which that happened also during his encounter with lockdown. So I don't I really don't understand that. But it, it actually looks pretty good. I like him with with both of them instead of one you know crippled. Um, not any really, not really any backpack. That's what I love a lot about this figure. Um, they they've done so much to this figure. I like it a lot more than the than the Earth Mode one, <clears throat> very very much. Um, I'm gonna try to get a hold of RC, you know, get get a review up ASAP. But um, man, Ratchet is just phenomenal. Um, any oh another thing, he doesn't have any waist articulation. Uh, but you no, know, oh man, um. Just to finish off articulation, arms can rotate up at the upper elbow. Two double jointed elbows. Hands hands can rotate 360 as well, and um, they can rotate in and out all, all degrees. But wow, wow, a ratchet is man great. I just hope Toys R Us decides with how popular these were to release the, more figures because the next. The next figures that are supposed to be coming out are like you know like Rodimus, Wingblade Prime. The actual next two figures that we that uh, that Hasbro's been talking about. Well, I, I figured that Hasbro's going to release is Voyager, Thundercracker, and Mudbuster Bulkhead. Um, I'll probably pick up both, and hopefully then Blackout and all them will show up. But man, Ratchet is just great. Uh, if you guys, even if you guys have not picked up, even if some of you guys don't pick up that many animated figures, find him. You will not be disappointed. So there you have him, Transformers uh, Animated Deluxe Class Cybertron Mode Autobot Ratchet.